sign people i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the love reading for the pisces cancer scorpion let's go in and see what is happening a word waiting for is coming up for you guys this is beautiful and romantic feelings all righty um water sign this is the month of uh july i want to say thank you I see a whole lot of passion is coming up for you, water sign people. So, enjoy. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> allow your heart to soar in this month, okay? And um, choose for love, whatever is happening and transpiring. Choose for love. I see a, I see a lot of you are going to be meeting people and, you know, you were longing and waiting to meet these people. So, I see you chocolate brown men. Um, we're waiting for so some of you um, are going to be meeting a true love a new love and um, this is going to bring a whole lot of romantic um, feelings in your life I see that you're meeting people but um, it's karma that you're clearing so it's as if some of you know that there was someone true gem is coming up for you water sign people wow uh, true love and true gem. Alrighty, what a sign. Go on. I see that you Caucasian men are also here. And these are men. So I see chocolate brown men and Caucasians are coming up. And you're dealing with um, um, karmatic relationship. I see you businessmen are going to be meeting um, and someone new. So this is coming up. Then I see um, you... Um, um, Caucasian, um, whatever relationships or whoever you meet in this month, um, I see that you were destined to be with this person. So I see that all um, you Caucasian men are in a relationship with a soulmate already. So whoever you're in a relationship with, you were destined to be with this person. Okay. So that is positive. So we're waiting for men. You're going to be meeting um, new people. If you're not meeting new people, you're already in a soulmate relationship. So be aware of that. Romantic feelings. New love is going to be coming in for the rest of you. True gem. I see that you businessmen are going to be uh, meeting someone. I see there could be some endings that is coming up for you Caucasian men. So be aware of that. So definitely I see that uh, some of you um, chocolate brown men or having some issues and you could be heartbroken with a corporation institution. Some of you who are having a relationship and in love with someone, I see an ending is going to be coming up. There is some healing that is going to be coming in, but I see some of you are going to be meeting a new love. I see some of you are um, could have been in a relationship and uh, um, whoever this person is, is a Virgo. I see you're seeing the truth that this Virgo was meant to be with you. This is the person I see you chocolate brown men are using love spell and your love magic, okay, in order to bring in some passion in your life. Yes, so you chocolate brown men could be using or is um, using negative energy in order to create and bring love in your life. I see truths are coming out about a new love, this Virgo that some of you are seeing. And you're going to be realizing that this is the love of your life. This is who you have been waiting on. So whoever is meeting a Virgo in this month, you're going to be realizing that. So a whole lot of Virgos. You guys are going to be meeting a whole lot of Virgos. I see you men with money is going to be divorcing. And I see some of you men... Could be meeting someone via work. You Caucasian uh, men or you businessmen could be meeting someone via work. I see you're offering love to this person or love is being offered to you. And it has to do with a Virgo um, via work. Now we see um, some of you um, who were in a relationship with a Libran or dealing with a Libran. I see that it might be out. I see a whole lot of you are healing um, your emotions with a, um, and you cancers are going to be ending a relationship with a Libra. Divorce could be coming up for you cancers. 
Then we see a whole lot of emotional balancing. So this is actually good. Love this month of July is actually good for a whole lot of people because it's actually good what is happening and it's transpiring. Because what we're seeing is that your emotions is going to be cleared up. Some of you are going to be really realizing that you are in a soulmate relationship. So um, whoever was wondering whether or not it's a soulmate relationship, yes, it's a soulmate relationship. I see a lot of you are going to be finding out that you're in a soulmate relationship. So we see a lot of healing is coming up, especially in the romantic section of your um, relationship. Some of you, you're going to be finding out that uh, a, a Virgo was your true love. I see you are heartbroken by this person. Some of you men are dealing with a Libra and this Libra, a whole lot of heartbreaks, divorce is coming up between you and this Libra. And I see a corporation institution is seeing the truth that some of you men was cheating. Some of you businessmen was having multiple partners and this is going to be coming out. I see the energy of the devil and the truth is coming up. There is some karmatic relationship with some of you businessmen um, and it has involved a Virgo. However, this is transpiring. I see the truth is coming up. Then I see um, that truths are going to be coming out about a Virgo and you Caucasian men. And I see that a balance is going to be coming in between you and this person. It's as if you're healing whatever that has happened and whatever that has transpired. You're speaking with this person. You're clearing up whatever the issue and the situation is and was. So when we look at the chocolate brown people, we see that you're divorcing or having an issue with an Aries and a Taurus in a corporation institution. Whoever this Aries and Taurus is, some of you could, could be divorcing this person. Now, when we look at heartbreaks, a lot of you, a Cancer and a um, Leo is going to be heartbroken because of some deceptiveness that a Cancer and a Leo have done. Um, this Cancer and this Leo, if you were in a relationship, um, if you were in a relationship with a Leo, I see your heart broken. Healing is coming up for the Pisces who were having relationship for with the Aries. I see your yield. You're going to be ill from this deceptive relationship. Some of you are going to be finding out that a that there was a three-party relationship that um that includes a, a Sagittarian, um, a Libran, and a Pisces. A Sagittarian, a Libran, and a Pisces. Some of you could be meeting a Sagittarian, Libra, or a Pisces. You're going to be creating a long-term stability relationship between you all, okay? So I see people are finding out the truth about uh, an Aries, and you Cancers are finding out the truth about an Aries. So if you're a Cancer man, you're really finding out the truth about the Aries and what an Aries have done. If you were married to this Aries, you could be getting divorced. This Aries find out a lot of stuff that you were doing. Divorce is coming up, some of you who are married to a Gemini, divorce could be coming up. This Gemini could have used um, um, black magic witchcraft in order to um, connect you in a relationship. Truths are coming out um, um, that some of you Pisces are going to understand that a Taurus was a karmatic relationship. The Taurus came from a past life. Truths are going to be coming out about a Sagittarian and a Aries. I see they're seeing the truth about a Sagittarian and an Aries. A Sagittarian and an Aries might be coming in your life or has been in your life, but you're going to be finding out who these people really are. It's as if they had some secrets about them that you were not aware of. So I see new love is coming in for the Pis the um scorpion and the cancer so new love is coming in for scorpion and cancer this is someone you're going to be with for a very very long time then we see um that a whole lot of you are going to be going in relationships um flexible relationship where you're seeing other people it's like open relationship but maybe they are not aware and especially you business people um, businessmen, entrepreneur, I see um, you're, you're seeing um, people 
but it's not like you're in a relationship. So I see you're seeing a lot of people. It's like you want to choose who you want to be with. So, so I see a situation where some of you um, could have been in a relationship. Some explosive situation is going to be going on where some of you were in a relationship with an Aquarian and some of you was in an Aries. A huge explosion is going to be going on. This relationship um, could end because of some information and some situation with money. So you could have been in a relationship with an Aries um, or an Aquarian and an Aries. And I see a huge problem in a relationship because of money. Now, I see you Caucasian, an Aquarian or a Libran is going to be offering you love or stability in your world. Um, like they're saying, come and move in with me. So you Caucasian men could be meeting this Aquarian or this Libran. Then um, I see the energy of uh, um, some ending is coming up or some divorce. Um, or some of you could be meeting an Aries or a Taurus. Okay. Or you could divorce an Aries or a Taurus. Or you could be, some of you could be meeting an Aries and a Taurus. And that's, this was the, the destined to happen, okay? If you're in a relationship with a Libran, you're going to be finding out that this Libran has met an Aries or a Taurus and they're moving forward. Then we see um, a situation where some of you had um, or was in a relationship with an um, Aquarian. Um, you Kansas could have been in a relationship with an Aquarian, but you're healing and balance out this emotional issues that you were going through with this Aquarian. It's as if you're letting it go. You're letting this relationship go. Whoever that was in a relationship with Aquarian or with a Gemini, I see you're definitely healing this relationship also, but it's as if this Aquarian or this Gemini was a friend and it's going to become a relationship now. So I see this person could be saying, hey, you know, we have been friends for so long. You know, I really like you. I really care about you. Um, so, you know, it could be um, an Aquarian or Gemini woman that is coming in and said, hey, we know each other so long. Why not? Let's get together. So there is a lot that is going on. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarian woman. And I see some divorce could be coming up. If you are married to an Aquarian woman, I see some divorce could be coming up. You need to split up your assets. But you businessmen, truths is going to be coming out. A whole lot of truths, especially businessmen that is connected with Aquarian. You could be ending relationship with this Aquarian. And you could be dividing up your assets or you could be sharing assets together. So this is coming up. So chocolate brown people, I see your conversation or you could be recorded. People are going to be using it against you chocolate brown people. So men, women, um, it could be your partner trying to get dirt on you a recording or listen to your telephone but this is what is going to be ruining you chocolate brown men especially you cancers your partner your wife is going to be using some recording on they record your conversation and they're going to be using it against you i like you new love is coming in this is true love so if you meet um if you meet a Sagittarian or a Pisces, a Virgo, a Virgo is going to be coming in. I see an healing for you, Pisces. Your, um, you Pisces are, you know, stay away from Aries people. Okay, um, whatever is transpiring, Pisces, Aries, a relationship with an Aries is the worst relationship you could ever go in. So stay away. A whole lot of seductiveness. You Scorpions and you Cancers. Wow, there's a whole lot of seductiveness that is coming in. You're seducing your way into people's lives. <laughs> so funny. Tick, tick, tick. This is a karmatic relationship. I see some of you Pisces are in a relationship with a, ver with a, with a, with a Taurus. It's a good relationship. Tick, tick, tick. A relationship with a Libran or a relationship with a Virgo could be over. There's a time bomb on this relationship. It's a karmatic relationship. It wasn't meant to, to last a long time. 
separation. I see um, you businessmen are going to be separated or you business Caucasian men is going to be separated. So whatever is transpiring, I see you business um, Caucasian men. Um, Caucasian men are going to be separated, but um, I see um, someone who is uh, a Libran or a Aquarius is going to be offering you guys love. Then I see the energy of the camera. The energy of the camera is that some of you businessmen could have been spying on your ex. Okay. So some of you young entrepreneur could be spying on your ex. But I see that you're going to be seduced. Um, yes, yeah, some of you Scorpion are going to be seducing a cancer. You guys are like the re the relationship is like Scorpions and Cancer relationship. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Karmatic relationships, a whole lot of you and um, water sign are going to be healing karmatics relationship. So if you had a relationship with an Aquarian or you had a relationship with a Virgo, I see you're going to be healing this. Okay. I see a lot of your healing um, karmatic relationship with water sign people. They're coming up very karmatic. The sunglasses is here and it's as if you are realizing that uh, um, some relationship that some of you were having um, with a Taurus or an Aries, you realize that it, this relationship was destined to either end or this relationship was destined. So it can be destined to either end or it was destined um, to happen. Okay, so this is it. Some of you who were friends is going to be coming lovers. So um, if you were like a friends with, uh, let's say that you were good friends with an Aquarian or you were good friends uh, um, with a Taurus or you were good friends with a Sagittarian, this is going to become a relationship. So be aware of this. So new love is definitely coming in, but I see that you Cancers are going to be very seductive very seductive healing is definitely going to be coming in and some of you and be careful uh, you um you chocolate brown men be careful because i see um if you're married your wife is going to put some device on your telephone some listening device on your telephone that is going to um, you're going to be ruining your life because your wife is trying to get dirt on you or your partner is trying to get dirt on you and they have put a listening device on your telephone. And you know, this is a love reading and I'm going to advise you guys something. If you have to put a device and you have to be reading and accessing your partner telephone, it doesn't make any sense. You be in a relationship with this person, okay? It doesn't really make any sense, all right? Because obviously there is no trust. And if there's no trust, um, relationships are built on trust, respect, and loyalty. And if you have to constantly, constantly look on your partner's telephone to know what is going on, then it doesn't make any sense you be in this relationship. This relationship is already doomed. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is that a whole lot of people is not aware of this because a whole lot of people think that it is just normal to check your partner's telephone. It's not normal, okay? And if you find that you have to check... Um, to keep a track of what your partner is doing. Your partner is an adult, okay? They are, they are responsible for themselves. So whether you're married to this person or you're in a long relationship with this person, um, if you have to constant, constantly, constantly check their telephone to find out what they're doing, then it's not, it's, this relationship is not healthy. It's not a, relation, a healthy relationship, okay? So... Um, I know what is happening is that some of you um, chocolate bro men, your partner is on to you, okay? And I see um, some of you have gotten yourself in some issues and you said, oh no, I'm not seeing this person anymore. Especially um, people who are in, um, and, and Leo is going to get you, okay? Whoever this Leo is, some of you could have been seeing a Leo, they're going to get you, okay? Because they're going to be... Uh, recording your conversation and use it against you 
the other person that is going to get you is the Taurus. I see a Taurus in a in an organization institution. Um, I think this person is just way off. This person is very deceptive. They are going to be, but a tower moment is coming down on a karmatic relationship. So if you're in a relationship with a Libran, um, it's over. This Libran is going to end the relationship and move on with a Virgo. So let's face it. Um, this relationship has run its time. Um, this there is no healing for this relationship. It has run its time. You gotta let it go. So separations is going to come up for the um Sagittarian men. Um, I see especially separation with same sex. So if you are in a same sex relationship, I see separation is going to be coming up with you because i see that someone else is offering um your partner love so be aware of this so if you're in a same-sex relationship be aware of this i do love you guys i gotta go but it is going to be a time where a whole lot of seductiveness because you cancers and you scorpion like to seduce the people whoever is in a relationship with water sign people aquarian no um with air sign people aquarian gemini or libra i see you're going to be healing and balance out your emotions between you and this person whether it works out or it doesn't work out that's what you're going to be doing a lot of you are going to be realizing that you have found your soulmate so this is really really wonderful and good so i see a whole lot of you um um water sign people pisces cancer scorpio you're going to be finding out that you have found your soulmate okay your soulmate it doesn't lies and it depends on um your birth chart what is uh, the moon sign in your birth chart okay because you have sun moon and rising sign in your birth chart and in order you can ask for a reading and ask for a love reading using the birth chart to find out the compatibility between you and your partner in order to know if you're in the right relationship i love you guys i got a no go <laughs> um for a love reading i do my readings differently so for all the people who have connected with me you know i go deep i i'm, I'm getting out everything so i love you guys gotta go namaste